Hey everyone, Steven here, producer of the in-app purchase sounds for the shiny new iOS app, Nano Studio 2. So this is the first and what will hopefully be the start of a long running series of videos which look at how to get the most out of Nano Studio 2. Getting started guides, intermediate to advanced tips, and uh, as well I'll try to impart some of my production techniques along the way while using NS2 as the basis. Uh, when I say long running, I mean over a span of time, days, months, years, hopefully a good collection of videos. I'm like the rest of you guys, I hate it when videos don't get to the point, so I'll try to keep things punchy and informative in each video, this one notwithstanding. So on that note, the first order of business is the real purpose of this video, which is to go over some of the grouping and send effects options in NS2. Uh, if any of this sounds complex, don't worry, it isn't. It'll all be visually explained starting right now. Okay, so what we have is a little project here that I had constructed already. And what we're going to start with is just setting up a simple reverb send effect. That's probably the most common thing to do. So the first thing we'll do is go here and add a track, no instrument. So not a Obsidian or a Slate track, just an empty track. Uh, might as well, just to make things more obvious, I'll rename it. And we could put this track anywhere, wherever you think is most logical. Uh, I'll just keep it there for now. So we'll double tap onto the reverb send effects track, and here we are at the audio effects. We'll add a reverb, algo verb. And we're not going to worry too much about all these settings, we'll just what we'll do is we'll make it 100% wet and no dry signal because we'll let that be handled by whatever we send to this reverb. And we got here some drums here, some bass, some effects. So let's just see what it's like with um, applying to the bass. So I'll just solo this just so we can hear how it all operates. Let's get rid of this, just isolate the bass. All right, that's the bass. So we'll go to that in the mixer, and we'll hit send, and then in the add audio send dialog here, we'll choose the reverb send effects down on the bottom. There we go. I'll select pre so that we'll be able to send this track's audio uh, previous to the, the fader, in other words. So what that'll allow me to do is Right, this is pretty much all the way up, so I'll take it all the way down. So now this is still being sent to the send effect. And now when I play this, you'll just hear the reverb. Right? So I can sort of, here's a dry effect, or the dry amount, and I can sort of and get a sense of how much reverb I want, how much dry signal I want. Right? And for the reverb, can just use the fader to add however much I want. And then for the other tracks I was going to send, I can just do the same thing. Hard note, so hit send. Send it to the reverb. signal we want to send by uh, using the slider here. That's particularly useful if you have drum tracks and you want to maybe send a different amount for your kick and your snare, hats, or whatever. 